Yeah, that explains it. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner and you guys know that I always have my mic turned off. Oh my God, I am so sorry about that. We were testing some things because thanks to you guys and how wonderful you have been um, with supporting me and stuff, I am going to get some additional things to try to help tweak my stream a little bit. Ah, <sighs> yeah. I'm hoping you've got sound now. Well, hello, hello there. At least I've got the screen up. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, this, that is just amazing. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh yeah, I'm always having fun. No, it's just kind of where I, I was getting everything set up. I was moving things around and trying to get all the things done, getting messaged over on Facebook. And it's like, I got to get my other stuff done right now. I need to get ready for you guys, right? So I've been working on getting um, a couple of things tweaked on the stream to make sure that they were actually working. Because um, I haven't really done a lot of streaming lately. And we, me we remember what happened last week, right? We remember that we had to go live straight from StreamYard because I couldn't get Elizabeth into the... I couldn't get her into my OBS. And... I know why. Well, I don't know why it happened, but I know how I fixed it. There's apparently some kind of an issue with the hardware acceleration thingy having to do with browser sources. And it's like, I don't know. Anyway, I, I fixed it. So if Elizabeth were coming on tonight, that would work. But unfortunately, that's not what's happening tonight. Instead, I was messing around with audio because I asked Todd a question. And of course, we have to start testing out scenarios and see if it's something that I actually want before I buy the stuff. Uh, but thanks to you guys being so supportive of me and coming to my classes and using my affiliate links when you can and all those things, every little bit helps. I'm able to get a couple more things to try to amp up my game just a little bit more. I mean, it's not a lot. It's only like a $30 thing, but every little bit helps, right? 
And Elizabeth says, yep, we hear you. Cordelia says, so funny. Yeah, I know. Um, another thing, I did let a couple of you guys know um, earlier today over on Facebook, um, because you, you stream. Um, I was watching today. I'm, it's one of those things where I get the email saying there is a free seminar for such and such. And I try to sign up for what I think I can make. And then half the time I can't do them. Uh, but Luria Petrucci with Live Streaming Pros, which I think I told you guys about her some um she's fantastic okay i absolutely love her stuff she does use ecamm which is mac based and i'm all pc based which is why i use my obs studio but she um was doing a seminar or a three-day training kind of thing having to do with using ecamm with zoom now I, I don't use ecamm but a lot of the concepts and stuff translate over right and one of the things she also did is for everybody who signed up for her seminar or her three-day training thing via email and everything she was basically sending us links to get some stuff for free which is one of the things that she gave away were these fun overlays <laughs> that i got um actually they're they're alerts so you're gonna see some new alerts yes we're gonna have some new alerts on the channel i just have to figure out how i want to use them i've already got them all hooked up and set up and everything because rabbit hole anywho um yeah Huh. Back to what I was saying before. Um, I had met Bindu back when we went to Creativation. That was the first time I had met her. She's with Craft she owns Crafty Meraki. I had never tried any of her stuff, but I've seen, you know, some folks have had I've seen some videos where some folks have used some of her stuff. I just haven't dive down that additional rabbit hole right uh, and i decided just like about a week or two ago let me go ahead and see what's there see what i'm interested in and see about trying out some other stuff so that's what we're going to do tonight um first off it was because i saw llamas and you guys know i have a thing about llamas so we're going to be playing with the llamas llama gor gla gla glamorous <laughs> i cannot speak glamorous birthday with her cute little llamas and then i also got a few stencils so that's what i plan on playing with tonight i have not tried these out yet i packaged them you know got them into my storage packages and stuff like over the weekend while i was working on summit stuff because we had there was a summit this weekend i don't know how many of you guys did that one but there was the scrapbooking fun x the scrapbooking i wonder if my camera is crooked that might be in the thing wrong. Anyway, um, yeah, we wound up disconnecting my cameras and reconnecting them and all these things. Anyway, um, the Scrapbooking Fun Summit was this past weekend, and there's been a, a lot of folks are going to be coming to, oh, a lot of people have signed up to be able to come to the class on Saturday, but a lot of them may also be doing replay because I know that's one of the things that I do quite a bunch. Just checking the chat to see if you guys have said, said anything else. Basically, you're quiet because I'm running my mouth. Okay. Anyway, so um, I'm looking forward to the classes coming up this Saturday. This Saturday, I'm going to be playing with and creating another one of these, which I think is super, super cute. So we're going to do a light up card on Saturday. So that is fun. And I've also already decided that the following class, which is going to be in July, is going to be a Christmas in July. So we're going to be doing Christmas cards. So... Oh, Cordelia is cutting out stuff, so she must either be playing with her scan and cut or her die cutting machine. And that's entirely fine. Your that is totally fine. Because we're just gonna have ourselves a little party. <laughs> I love these things. Some of them have sound and some of them don't. Uh, most of them don't. I didn't add sound for most of them, but there are a few that I did add. And I don't know if the sound is playing because again, I can't hear it. What the heck? Um, Maureen says, hi, Todd. So I'm wondering if I got this just turned down too low or what the deal is, because I fixed that. Let me try another button. Paper trimmer and scissors. Okay, let me know if you're able to hear this. Okay, that's one that's got it. Okay, winner, winner, chicken dinner. That one has a sound. Okay, now I know at least that they're working, right? So, what have you guys been doing this last week? I mean, I know what I've been doing. I've been doing too much stuff and not, you know, I need to, I still need to get a lot more videos recorded. Um, there was a video that I had go up 
last night oh yes last night video for this guy went up so you guys can see the whale in a bottle i made two cards with it because they're huge the bottle's so big you have to make it a five by seven card you're going to have to use a five by seven card envelope i never do that i think you guys know i tend to do a two size cards they're easier for me to store if i keep everything the same size it's real easy for me to store all the ones that i've got in my stash and um, just use one size envelopes again a lot of it has to do with storage right and I don't waste any cardstock cutting my card bases. Hello, Miss Linda. No being stressed, Cordelia. No. And But the thing is, I understand that. I used to be a bookkeeper. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and switch the depth. <laughs> Get my keyboard out of the way. Switch things around. And yeah, my camera is not where I thought it was going to be. And that's because, again, like I said, we were messing around and moving things around. Okay, let's see if I can get it kind of sort of centered. That'll have to do, and it looks like I'm overexposed again. So let's see about adjusting the lighting. That's another thing that I chatted a little bit with. That looks a little bit better, but it's still... I think part of the reason that my lighting has not been looking as good as I want it lately... First off, I got to turn this other light because you see the shadow of my head. But one of the things I think is going on is I've got that that thing up over my window. Not that one, this one. Okay. To knock out the lighting that would go straight into my eyes at one point of the day. And I think it's turning everything a little bit gray and I don't like it. So I will be shopping for blinds for that window so that I can see out most of the time. I can let nice light in and I can tweak it a little bit so it doesn't shine in my eyes when I don't want it to. Okay. Ah, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to be playing with is this cute stamp set and some some of her stencils uh, like i said i have not tried any other crafty meraki stuff before this is not a sponsored video this is not a design team video nothing like that this is just some stuff that i bought because first off bindu is she's awesome she is a sweetheart um i can't wait to get to know her better and of course i want to help support her store somewhat so i'm got some things that i thought were super cute it was the llama it was the llama that's yeah that's what it was so i'm planning on using all three of these stencils on the same card and we're gonna see if my idea works or not i've also got too much stuff on my desk again part of that is because todd shut this drawer because he was coming over here to help me <laughs> so i've got a drawer that i usually have something stacked on is shut and that means I need to move some stuff back on top of it so it's not, yeah, okay. Let's get out a piece of cardstock. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take a deep breath. Also, right when I was supposed to be going live, it's like I realized I don't have any water or coffee, so I had to run and go get that. Otherwise, I would have been getting up like now, and I didn't want to do that. And my garbage can got moved too far away from me too <laughs> yes it is a, such a super sweet little llama i mean i've already made one llama card um because i went ahead and got the caffeinated llama which i just discovered today um, i was going in putting in affiliate links into some of my older videos that i never did get around to doing because i'm really trying to update all that stuff and get the things done um, but i'm looking up on rabbit hole designs and they don't have the caffeinated stuff anymore. Apparently it got vaulted at the beginning of the month and I didn't know about it. Like I just bought it. I just did my first videos with it. Like what the end of March, uh, end of May, and they're not going to be carrying it anymore because I would have known if I was on their email list, but guess who was not on their email list? Guess who's going to be on their email list? Because I've got a lot of cute stuff and that's another company that I'd like to do more projects using you know okay so the idea that i had have no idea if it's going to work out okay for me is to do balloons 
but also do some of the balloons with the confetti inside them. So it's going to be kind of a layering thing. And to start off with, since I have my purple tape out, since I found it, yeah, this is what we attached my snowball microphone to my, you know, my boom arm that holds my camera so that I could test. Yeah, we attached it with tape. Uh, Todd's mentioned trying that and I thought, okay, is that a good idea? And it, it worked, so that's fine. I just had no idea if it was gonna work or not. I need to slide that down a little bit. Also realize I don't have quite enough light here anyway. There we go. That way I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Let's put a little bit of tape on the back of each of those. And this is because I do, I really do not want it to shift. And this is a magnetic, this is a magnetic mat, and I will use my magnets too, but I'm more concerned with having it move on the stencil. And another thing I should use that I'm not using because I can't remember where I put it was the Lisa Horton stencil stuff. You know, that's the Ultimate 2 is fabulous, and I don't remember where I put it. I put it somewhere that was going to be easy access, and now I don't remember where it was. So it might be that, or it might be just that Elizabeth stole it again. So Elizabeth is going to have to let us know, did she steal my stuff again? I think I may also use some Simon Hurley. Things I don't have a complete rainbow yet. Close enough. I've got red and blue and yellow, and that basically makes a... I think that'll kind of sort of make a rainbow. Okay. You guys can already tell I was not 100% ready to go also got a stencil i've got a brush that is missing that i don't know what i did with it my red brush i'm always having to use one of my other ones that i need to clean that i don't know what color it's supposed to be because it's not one of my main ones and i don't know and i need to clean the yellow one too anybody have some what now rainbow <laughs> Does anybody have some stuff that they need to clean that they just haven't gotten around to doing? Okay, so that's not actually coming off too much. So that'll probably work okay for the yellow, which I'm going to start with the yellow because you know what? If I don't start with the yellow, I'm going to get this ink pad more contaminated. I've been loving the sticky mat from Altenew that came with the stamp wheel, but you can buy it separately. I know. The thing is, I've got, to, I've got stuff, and there's lots of stuff I want, and I want that too. I got to try it out at Creativation. That was one I did in video because I, I videoed some things while I was trying them out, but it's a little harder to video while you're creating, if you know what I mean. I did most of the videos that I did during Creativation were, um, were ones where I'm what i'm watching somebody else create but it was also all that was also very i'm trying to talk in ink at the same time it was also very um inspiring watching all of them do their thing And what's funny is sometimes on some of my videos, I'll wind up with a comment saying, what did you use on that? And it's not me. <laughs> I wasn't the one that did it. Okay, so I'm starting with some yellow in the center. So we've got some of that down. And this is Simon Hurley Slippery When Wet. And you guys know I love Simon Hurley stuff, but I didn't have any of the inks yet. So I just got the inks. Next, I'll come in with Bee Sting, and we're going to have some red and some orange kind of around it. And then I'm going to try doing just the Remember Me kind of around the edges and give it a chance to dry a little bit before I go in with the next step. And I have no idea if it's going to work, if I'm going to use right colors or any of that stuff yet. So we're just going to see. Okay, this tape is bugging me. It's working well for that, but I really should have put it on the top, but I didn't want to cover any of my cardstock either. So I'm going to be very careful. Okay, I could just wrap it around and just make sure it doesn't go over any part of my actual cardstock. And because it's taped on there already, it's not going to shift while I'm moving this stuff around. So my, my stencil is still in good shape. 
and to be honest, I don't really even need the magnets right now. That's kind of interesting because everything is going to stay in place. It's not going out of the, everything's staying lined up like I want it. Okay. So we've got a yellow balloon in the middle and then we've got some orangish balloons coming around the sides. Gonna add a little bit more red coming out. Linda says that's where I first used it too. Absolutely. And I want one. I, I, got, I think I, I either saw it or got to use it last year too, but they didn't come out with it. It's one of those things that sometimes it takes them a while to bring it to um, bring it to market once they've got the idea. You know, like Amanda's tape. Amanda's foam tape is fabulous. I've got three rolls. I know Cordelia's got her first roll in, so we definitely want to see what you make when you start using that. And I even did a cost comparison at one point. I didn't write it down, so I will at some point put it together better for you guys so you can see. Uh, but my typical, the foam tape I use all the time is my scotch, right? I always use this stuff. It's real thin. It doesn't add a lot of dimension, but it adds some dimension. And if I double it up, it's about the same width, about the same thickness as, as the Pear Blossom Press foam is, right? But... It costs more for me to double this up than to use that. I mean, that's more expensive per linear foot than this one is, but if I double up my scotch foam, it's more expensive than that one. So that means I'm gonna be using my Pear Blossom Press foam specifically for things that need that double thickness. And I'll be using my scotch foam for pretty much everything else because I go through it a lot <laughs> and I need to, to need to make it make it last when I can. So hello, Miss Monica. Monica Taylor is in the house. So Cordelia says that her card for Craft Roulette was a light-up card. Mine was a light-up card, too. Actually, mine is the card that we're going to be doing on Saturday um, in the class. So this is the card again that we're doing for the card maker. The, the Craft Along card class is this card here with the three little lights. I initially was going to do it as a one, but I couldn't figure out, I could, I could not position the one light in a place where the shadow of the mechanism wasn't going to mess up my little honeycomb, my, my little beehive. So that's what we're making on Saturdays. That is going to be fun. Hello, Eden. Eden Maddox in the house. Welcome, welcome. Looking to see if I missed anybody else in the chat. So I'm going to scroll all the way up so I can say hello, hello. Hello to Miss Maureen and Cordelia and Elizabeth. None of which could hear me at the beginning. <laughs> hello to Linda. And... Um... And Eden and hello, Gloria. Welcome, welcome. Um, maybe make sure what the date is for Saturday. Saturday is the 17th, Cordelia. So yeah, it is um, Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern. That's what time the next card makers, I mean, the next craft along card class is. Yeah, and I, again, words are hard, so I apologize, guys. So now I'm coming in with some of Remember Me. And coming around the edges. So it's kind of a rainbow. It's kind of a circular rainbow, I guess. But I think that'll be kind of cool. And I think this would look great even without any of the confetti, but I'm going to try it. And if the confetti doesn't really work, that's fine. I can also, you know, I can use the background for something else. I can make another one, all the things. The most fun that we have. Okay, absolutely, Cordelia, absolutely. You can definitely, um, because you have that, that lifetime access, you can catch it anytime you want to and watch it as many times as you want to. And it is very easy to get your days mixed up. That happens to me more often than I would like to admit. Okay, so does this look okay, guys? I know I'm, I'm kind of not even in frame. Goodness. 
I told you, it's because I know I move things around because of the camera and stuff. I mean, I sit down here, it's like, wait a minute, my face is not in frame. I think I spent the last like 15 minutes right before trying to get the get all of the instances of my face on screen in the right spot because none of them were. Okay, add a little bit more blue. This can be neat. I haven't used this stencil before, so it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Let's do a little bit more here. And it looks like I didn't have everything lined up quite center, but it's close enough. Because I think I've got a little bit more space for blue on that side than I do on the one closest to me right now. Lenovo, Lenovo, Lenovo. Ooh, Gloria got a new computer. Fabulous. Okay, I think I'm going to go back in like I usually do and do a second layer. I'm going to do it. Well, do you think I need a second layer? I don't think I do. I think it'll look good anyway. <laughs> this already looks cute. Okay, let me go ahead and take the tape off. Actually, I can't do that. I can't take the tape off yet because what I wanted to do was add some of the confetti over the top. And it's going to be only on the balloons because I'm going to put this right there. So that's what I'm going to do. That was my initial thought. And it's probably going to look wrong. But you know what? We're going to go with it. So I'm going to just tape them together right here and not bother with the card itself. And hopefully everything will stay in place, right? Okay, this part I'll go ahead and do an overlap. So that'll be fine. Now I have to just figure out what color do I want to go over my balloons. So we already used these three and the ones that I still have left from Simon Hurley. Of course, I've got other colors from other companies, but I've still got Later Gator, Weeping Willow, Cookie Dough and Shady. So Shady are kind of, you know, grays and browns. Very neutral. I don't know if this is going to be too much for it. Actually, I kind of want to save that for thinking about putting in those those leaves too so that means i need to get something from another company which i'm thinking that katherine pooler should do fine for this and let's see i've already got blues and reds and yellows so what do i have that's Tutti Fruity might go well. What do you think? I've got Tutti Fruity. I'm going to grab out a, actually a couple that I think might do okay. And mostly because they seem to be some of the bolder, deeper, darker colors. So we've got Tutti Fruity, Suede Shoes, and Party Dress. So pink, blue, and orange. What do you guys think? Because I'm thinking I should probably go with just one over that real colorful background. It's still going to look... A Solar paste would be sweet, but I'm thinking about using that. I'm thinking about using solar, um, solar. Oh, I don't have solar paste yet. That's coming. It's on order. It's on its way. I don't have it yet, but I will have solar paste. You know what it reminds me of when I saw Simon using it? It reminds me a lot of that um, Lisa Horton ink her color changing ink that looks one way on white and another way on black. It reminds me a lot of that. So I've got some ideas for, for trying that out to see, you know, how exactly it's going to work. But yes, that is coming. But I do think I'm going to use some lunar paste on this, but I haven't 100% decided exactly where. So Linda says party dress. So she's the only person who has said anything on that. So I'm going to go with party dress. And since party dress is a pink, I can use my red brush for that. Let me first clean off the bee sting off of this brush. I probably need to get some new brushes and make sure everything stays labeled and use the things for the things. And yeah, it does look like a lot like watercolors. Absolutely. Okay, so I think that that is, that's good enough. And we're going to go in with some party dress. The party dress is going to make the blues look purple. The yellows look orange. It's going to basically bring a different color in. It's going to mix in with the color we've already got there. So 
I don't think I've got anything down that's going to make it look brown, so that's good. But even if it did, it's only little bits. So I'm going to come in all over it with the party dress. And I'm not going to really worry about how dark I go in any specific area. And basically what I'm doing is I'm stenciling through two stencils at the same time. Yes, this is not something I came up with. It's not rocket surgery. It's not my original idea. I've seen other people do it. I've just never done it. And there are a lot of cool ideas out there. And I've done a lot of different cards, but I have to admit that some of my cards have gotten to be a bit samey. So I'm going to try to start combining things and, and that sort of thing, because that's what makes a lot of card making fun, you know, trying out all the things and doing all the things and stretching your supplies and stretching your imagination and all of that. But I'm thinking this is going to be really cool. I know I'm covering up all those pretty colors. Okay. This also means that it wouldn't be that hard to update some of your pattern papers that you don't really like just by adding some stencil color over it. <laughs> so Monica's never heard me say rocket surgery before. <laughs> yeah, that's something that uh, me and my husband say all the time. I don't know if he came up with it, if I came up with it, or one of us heard it somewhere and it just kind of stuck. But yeah, um, rocket surgery is brain surgery and rocket scientists together. Um, my first husband wasn't a surgeon, but he was a surgical technician. So he helped with lots of different types of surgery. And my husband's, my current husband's brother is a rocket scientist. <laughs> I'm so glad I made you laugh, Monica. Absolutely. Okay, so you guys ready to see how this turns out? So I'm taking off the first stencil so we can see, you know, we can see the confetti. I don't know why I'm worrying about getting stuff on my fingers because that's already all over my fingers, right? Okay, take off the tapes there. I just don't want to get any ink anywhere I didn't want it, you know? I don't want it to go on any of the parts that's white. There we go. So how do you guys like that? I think that looks kind of interesting. And I'm going to put these to the side so that I can wash them off in a bit. Actually, I mean, yeah, I'm going to do this. Put this one to the side. This looks kind of cool. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to, oh, maybe I should do this one first. I can do this one first. I'm going to try, try, try. Don't know how it's going to work. Where's my water bottle? Elizabeth, did you steal my water bottle? No, you didn't. It's right there. I'm going to try to pick up some of that ink and hopefully it'll be kind of sort of in place. And I actually have a brayer over here that I have no idea if it's clean or not. Didn't pick up a lot, but that's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm going to do this instead. Yeah, I'm going to put this one down and it's going to pick up more and fill in a lot of those gaps. That's going to be cool. Okay, so going back down again, just like before. Okay, I can still see it, but it's not as obvious, but it is still kind of cool. That's an interesting background. I think this is one of those panels that because it's so busy and you can't really see what's going on. I mean, I could go over it with the other stencil with the um, balloons and you kind of have that um, confetti background. So that might be kind of interesting. So I'm going to keep that, I think. And I've got enough ink on there. I think I can do one more.
Oops, I don't want that one. That one's already a cleanup panel. I don't want that one. Let's do a white panel and do that. There we go. That's pretty. This one doesn't look quite as splotchy, probably because I put more um, more water on it. So that looks good. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, now I'm going to clean up my mess with paper towel. I know there's still some ink there, but you know what? My name is not Elizabeth Costa Rogers. So it's okay for me to waste a little bit of ink. A little bit. A little bit. So those are going to sit to the side so that they can dry. And let me clean this one up some too. Yeah, water reactive inks, it's always nice because they can clean up pretty good. I definitely need to clean off my desk. I got too much stuff over here again. Okay. So next, I want to do some of these. And I'm going to do that in later Gator. And I still notice I still have water on my desk. I don't want water on my desk because then it will mess up my panel that I've already been working on. Okay. It hasn't really been work. It's been played, but still. And this time I'm not going to, I think I'm going to just put it down and do just the places I want. Not the, and first let me see which ones do I want to use. I do like these two together. So those are ones I'm going to use for sure. And I'm going to tape off some of the other to kind of mask. So the green only goes where I want it to go. Yeah, I missed Elizabeth's live yesterday too. It's just... Yesterday was wow. It's kind of where you have tech issues. Um, I had tech issues on my website trying to get everybody who requested one of the freebies from the summit. I wanted to make sure that they got it. And there's a couple of things that did not want to work yesterday for just a couple of people, but it still bugs me. And I still don't know the reason why I've got a tech um, t a tech ticket in place already with the company that um, provided the plugin on my website but yeah anyhow it's just one of those things you can't there's, there's some things you really can't do anything about you just have to work with it and I'm overall I'm pleased with how how smoothly everything worked for getting all of the um, all of the bonuses out to people and, and that sort of thing. So I am happy with that. My only issue is with the few things that didn't work quite the way they were supposed to. Um, I, one, I, the first one, I have no idea why it didn't work because it worked prior to, I think it's where the website, something changed somewhere and I don't know what it was, but I got it fixed. The other one, again, is where something for whatever reason, it's not working. I have no idea why, but I'm working with the folks to figure it out. And of course, I always find a workaround. You guys know me. Even if something doesn't work, I will figure out a way to make it work. Okay, so I'm adding some little leaves in because Paco, right? We got Paco. I need to put Paco in here and he needs to have his little party. He needs to be in a jungle, right? So I'm going to be putting some leaves in here and I'm just doing the inking part first. I'm just using the two. That way I can position them wherever I want them. Starting off with the four corners. Glory's going to be spending time with her crafty girls. Awesomeness. Oh, well, that's another one of the fun things. I've discovered that there are a few people that I did not know that are local, which is cool. And I was going to the mailbox, of all things, um, 
yesterday, day before yesterday. Anyway, within the last couple of days, I was going down to the mailbox and wound up chatting with one of my new neighbors. Um, she moved into one of the houses of somebody who's been there for like forever, but they finally moved. And so they just moved in recently. And it turns out that she likes crafting. So she's a crafter. Don't know what type of crafting yet, um, but she is a crafter and she lives like <laughs> right down the street between me and my mailbox. So that's how close she is. And um, I had dropped off at Christmas, you know, cards to different people. If they were in my, you know, on my street, if they're in my neighborhood, I was hand dropping them off at the mailboxes and didn't really wait for people to come out and say hi or anything like that. So I didn't, she didn't know who it was that gave her a card at Christmas that she still has out. Oh my God. I've told you guys that some of the things that make me feel just absolutely wonderful I, I feel great when I'm creating. I feel great when I'm giving a card to somebody, but when it turns out that they are keeping it out, that is probably the most wonderful feeling any card maker can have, is knowing that what you gave somebody meant enough to them or they liked it enough that they're not putting it away and they're not trashing it. Hello, Miss Brenda. Awesome, awesome. Gloria says she started to watch the the replay and she fell asleep again. Oh no. Okay, so we got a lot of we've got we got us some some greenery here. I'm liking. I'm gonna bring some more in from the side. I'm liking this background. This is actually a pretty fun background and really easy to create. And I'm thinking it's going to be really easy to duplicate too. I mean, sometimes when you're doing handmade backgrounds and stuff, you can't really duplicate it that easy. But these stencils are wonderful. And I'm not having any of them. One of the issues I have with some of my stencils is because they're so detailed that sometimes the pieces start lifting and I feel like I'm going to break it. Or they start bending back and then I have to be extra extra careful to make sure that I'm able to actually use them again so I have some stencils like that okay another one up there let's put another one up here so that I think I think that turns out pretty cool um, question for you guys though do I need I think I do need some more green um, just blend it around the edges to kind of make the, it look like the forest around the side or the the jungle around the side but i'm wondering do you guys think that i need to add any lunar paste to this so tell me in the chat give me a big yes if you think i should add some lunar paste to the mix Not solar paste. I don't have solar paste yet, so don't say add solar paste. But I think that would actually also be a really cool idea at one point. So our little llama is going to have a party. I'm loving that. Awesome. Betty Penny, yay! How are you doing, honey? Welcome, welcome. Betty Penny's in the house. <laughs> you know I love you, honey. So yeah, I need to know. Do you guys think I, I've had one yes so far? But that's all. Only one person has told me that I need to add some solar, some lunar paste to this. And I do have a couple of colors of green. This one has not been opened yet. And this one is fake plant. I have not opened my fake plant yet. And I also have Later Gator, which is the color that we just did with his. But then the other ones are kind of a blue-green, so I'm thinking that's probably not going to work. 
And this one, I can't read it. This one is Psyche. Psyche is like a light yellow. Okay, a light green. So, Biddy Penny has spoken. She says yes to the lunar paste. Okay. That's one reason why I kind of was, you know, getting all of this stuff done first because I was thinking, you know, I think that would be kind of cool. Um, I did my leaves this way. They pretty much look the same way both, but one's going to be lower. So I think I'm going to do it this way and just add a few places with lunar paste in there. I have to be very, very careful, though, going through the stencil because I'm only going to do it in a few places. Let's see, is there a way, is there a place that I can do where... Okay. I'm still going to try to keep as much as I can um, clear on the, the center section because that's where I want the llama and I'm probably going to just do the llama in black and white. I mean, it's already after six. Okay. I think I can get, I can probably color the llama in, in an hour, you know, because it's almost at eight o'clock at seven o'clock is when we're going to be going over to see Dawn. I have not talked to Dawn. I'm assuming that she is going live at seven o'clock like normal. Hello, Miss T. Okay, um, timer went off for Cordelia, which means she's probably cooking something. So, honey, you need to go ahead and bring me some of those cookies, you know? And I'm going to go ahead and hit this little thing again. I do want to welcome in everybody who is new here. Um, by the way, the alerts that I'm putting up are brand new, just added today. But I love tweaking things and adding things to my channel. I absolutely love it. And But I do want to welcome in everybody who is new in the chat. If you've been here before or not, if you haven't been here before, please say hello to the Chatterbox. They are nuts and they will love you. So welcome on in. So Cordelia, did you bring me, did you, are you baking me some cookies? <laughs> I cannot claim um, that I created those alerts because I did not. Um, I got those from Luria Petrucci, Luria, Luria Petrucci with live streaming pros. She has been doing a, a Zoom um kind of a how to how to go live on Zoom kind of thing. I'm trying to remember what the name of her little seminar is, but it's a three-day workshop thing that she has been doing. Um, today is day two. I think you can still sign up for it. It's on the Ecamm's YouTube channel. Um, Ecamm is another software that a lot of folks use instead of OBS. I use OBS because I have a PC and it's free. Ecamm is not, but she has, it's basically showing, showing how to use the two together. Most of the stuff you can use with OBS and Zoom and together. So I'm there for the concepts and the ideas and things. And one of the things that she was giving away was this package. It's got 16 different alerts. Yes, 16 absolutely and i have to figure out how to use what <laughs> i've already got all set up with with everything to automatically um pop in so it's like i think it's cool so a couple of them have got sounds but most of them don't yet but that also explains why i pretty much got a late start today okay i'm gonna try to it's gonna be hard to do this because i don't want to overlap any of it so um I think I'm going to do this one is facing in the right direction and it's right at the edge as is. And yeah, so I think that's the one that's going to be probably the easiest one for me to use and not touch the other um, other lunar paste as I'm putting it down. Um, where's my. Here's a question for you guys. Has there ever been. Has there ever been a live stream? that you've seen of me where I didn't lose something. If you can recall, don't matter if you recall when it was, but if you can recall even one where I didn't lose something, tell me in the chat. It does, except, um, T, we're going to have ourselves a llama party. So this is actually Paco. Paco is the llama that um, is in Fortnite, named by my friend Jax and some of her other friends. And yeah, <laughs> so so of course, I'm, I'm loving llamas, mostly because of that. This is really, really dark. 
So you guys have to wish me luck and hope that my palm fronds are going to look right. I mean, it does look good for Florida too, because yeah, I'm Florida and we have palm fronds similar to this. That looks cool. Okay, where do I want to put another one? I'm going to put another one right here so I don't overlap. And I don't know if this is going to be completely dry by the time we get done, but lunar paste does tend to dry pretty quick. So I am hoping, and of course I can always speed it up with my heat it tool. Okay, so we've got two. Yes, a Paco party. <laughs> I mean, I, I would love to find a, a stamp or something that makes Paco because Paco in the game is actually a, a llama pinata. And I haven't seen one that, I mean, I could probably create something, but I would be so afraid that I would be get, doing some kind of a copyright thing uh, with Fortnite. And I don't really want to cause, a, I don't want to cause a problem like that, you know? Okay, so I'm going to come over right over here so I'm not touching where my previous one was. I think it's going to work out pretty good, except for the last one. If I put one in close to where I put my first one, I might have a little bit of trouble there. And I'm just, I'm probably putting more pressure than I need to on this stencil because I don't want it to shift. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I need to move this one out of the way and clean up that part that went onto my desk so I don't get it anywhere else. Because I would. I would so easily get that onto my card where I don't want it. And I don't, yeah, I'm going to be careful. Okay. So we've got that, that green already going on, but this is actually just bringing just a little bit more and making a little bit deeper like the, like the leaves are in front of everything where some of these kind of look like they're in the background. I think that's looking pretty cool. Well, I just looked up at the chat. I'm, I'm kind of scrolling with my eyes up it and Cordelia says that the timer was not a food timer. It's like, there's no other reason to get up from watching a stream, is there? I mean, it needs to be a food timer so you can make us some cookies. Where's my cookies? Yeah. Speaking of which, I probably need to make brownies tonight because we are out again. And yes, we are real bad. That's kind of what we do. Like every night we have our dinner, like around eight, at eight o'clock, we go and sit on the couch and we watch a show. And at 10 o'clock, it's brownie time. And Todd asks me as we're going along in, in the night, what time is it and whether or not it's brownie time yet? And he's the one that set up the arbitrary, you know, time for brownies because he's the one that says dinner time's at eight and... Brownie time is at 10 and bedtime is at 11. And then by 11 o'clock, by 11 o'clock, I'm tired enough that you know what I do? I basically, I just sit there and I'm like, I don't want to get up <laughs> because I'm already too tired. Now, I did notice that a little bit of the lunar piece got here in the middle. I'm going to leave it. I was going to try to wipe it, but I think if I wipe it, it's going to smear everywhere. And I don't want to do that because what would happen if I did that? I would wind up making the whole, yeah, the whole white area in the middle that I like would wind up being green. And while I do want a lot of green on here, I don't want that there, you know? Okay, now I got to clean up some of this mess. <clears throat> Because I still need to do a little bit more, but there was getting to be a little bit too much lunar paste on my stencil. And I don't want to ruin the stencil that this is the first time using it. Gloria, I understand, honey, but you know what? I can't do anything about my husband. 
This is where he says, this is what time we're doing what. And it's like, okay. Part of that is because he was having a lot of stress issues at one point and having trouble sleeping. At one point, they put him on um, a med that gave him nightmares. I mean, vivid nightmares. We will never try that stuff again. So he's one of those people that researches enough. And as soon as he finds a solution that works, he sticks with it. So I told him I want to do dinner early. He won't do it. <laughs> I want to go to bed early. He won't happen <laughs> because he's found a routine that works for him. And when I used to go to an office every day, I would get up like I, my alarm would go like six or six thirty. You put sparkling wine in the freezer, huh? Okay. We know that Cordelia's having a party and didn't invite us. Okay, so I'm going to do some more cleaning on this after, after a while. Oops. I got lunar paste on my stamp set. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, we got a little bit left to go for the stenciling, but you can see the shine on those. That is going to be so pretty. Okay. And making sure I'm not touching anywhere that I've already got my stenciling done on. And we've got this guy, and that's the one I want to use. So going to have him, I think I'm going to do a little one down here at the bottom, and then I'll come up and do a little bit further up. And with me trying to clean this, I did wind up bending one of the things back. And because of that, I've got a little extra green where I didn't want it, but that's okay. It's done pretty good so far. And I have too much on here. Yep, dinner at 6 p.m., absolutely. My mom's rule when I was growing up is that I have to be in the house whenever it, when it, um, when the lights came on. So if the street lights were coming on, that was time for me to be in there. And most of the year, it would be like 6 o'clock. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one right about there. It's not going to touch either side. Stay. Yes, I'm talking to my stencil. Okay. And I'm probably going to have, yeah, I've got a little bit on that one spot, but that's okay. I'm going to clean this and we're, it's going to be good. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put the Be Right Back screen up real quick so I can go ahead and clean the lunar paste because I do not want it to stick to this. Um, lunar paste is still a paste, so I want to make sure I get all of that off. And it is already having a little bit of trouble coming off. So where is my Be Right Back screen?
No, 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 not a potty break time. I was being responsible and cleaning the lunar paste off of that pretty stencil. Um, I did discover that the reason I got a little bit of the lunar paste in between the leaves is because I got some of the lunar paste on the back of that one little spot. So it's still gonna look great though. I do like this, but I do have to put it to the side so it can dry, but okay, do it this way. That way you can see the balloons. And I don't know, I, I, I think it's just because I like the different pieces. It's like, you know what? That would probably look good together. I had never thought of trying to put things together like this, but it does kind of look like a tropical party. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Okay, I'm putting this off to the side so the lunar paste can dry. Not gonna put it on top of my my whale card. Yeah, I've got my little whales over there. Did you guys see those? Got a video up as of yesterday with these guys. These just turned out so cute. <laughs> now the waves are a little bit finicky, but if you follow the, if you lay everything out, like what you see on the website, you'll be able to lay them out without a problem. Let's just put it this way. I made two cards and the first one I had more trouble with than the second one. The second one's like, oh, that's where it goes. Okay, no problem. Okay, so I still have too much junk on my desk. Oh, well. So now we have our little llamas. And let's get out the misty. And I have not, no idea what I'm going to do. I know the whale cards just turned out so cool. But this, this, the um, die set, this is the large die of the month from Spellbinders this month. And it is a whale in a bottle. That's what it's called. And this is from here to the top of the blue is right at five and a half. Okay. So the cork makes it bigger than an A2 size card. But I decided to make one of them as a shaped card. So I think that looks pretty cool. And it's, um, I didn't show this part in the video, but for the inside, because it cuts out three sections, one section, two section, three section, it cuts out three different sections. I decided to do a little bit of um, partial die cutting, like partial die cut the top and the bottom to get the shapes right. And then just use my paper trimmer for the sides and got that, that piece to go on the inside. So that's perfect. But yeah, I think he turned out super cute. And then I decided to do for, oh, and then I used the glimmer of the month for that background right there to give some additional waves. And this one, same thing. I used that piece from one of, from the glimmer of the month across the top to make, give it a little bit of an additional wave. And now it looks like the bottle is kind of bobbing in the ocean. I think this is so cute. But yeah, both of these are using that die and that video went up last night. Um, I've got, I'll have lots of pictures and stuff on my Instagram and Facebook over the next week. Yeah, whenever I have two cards like that, it means I've got, I can do like nine pictures. I always give you like different angles. But yeah, you'll be seeing more pictures of that coming up over there. Okay, so which llama do we want to use? I was thinking this one, because this one reminds me the most of Paco. But this little guy is cracking up. Look at his face. He's just laughing. I think that would be so cute in the middle of the card. <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Biddy Penny. Thanks, Toby. I appreciate that. She says, love, love, love them both. Brenda says, I have fallen behind on watching videos. Well, honey, you're not the only one, because guess what? Okay, I love little llamas enough that I'm probably going to do more than one. Let me go ahead and stamp out a couple of these. I'm going to, I think I'm going to stamp these guys out twice, which means turning the card vertical and trying to make sure I'm kind of in screen. That's one reason why I try to position it where I do. So it's low enough, but it's also on a fixed arm. So I can't move the camera any further out. So we're gonna go with this, and I'll put this guy, and I'll put this guy, and then I'll just flip it around and do the other. And I think I'm gonna do embossing on that too, because then I can use, I always use, I like using VersaFine Claire, but I find that I smudge it, but I don't smudge it if I use embossing powder on it. 
I always like using that one with embossing because it gives you that that really dark. For sure, and work and binge Netflix. Yep. Um, I do the Netflix thing at, well, we do, we basically binge shows, period. We watch from beginning to end. And what show are we watching now? We just finished this movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it called, what was that one? We just finished it up last night. I can't remember the name of it, but it's one where he's a, a town sheriff and he kicks butt and it's like, yeah, I, I love Arnie. <laughs> so we just watched that one and now we're watching something else. Kaleidoscope. That's why, because it is, it's kind of whacked. It's a, it's a series, I think, and each episode is a different, is there, it has to do with the big heist that they're doing but has different time that you come into each episode at a different time like we went seven years back and then we moved forward i don't know it's a little bit you know timey whiny so i like timey whiny okay so i'm going to stamp these guys down in versifying claire and I'm using well embossing powder, so it really doesn't matter as much whether or not I use an embossing tool because I forgot again until after I stamped. That can make me crazy sometimes. What makes you crazy, T? You were late because orange is the new black. <laughs> yeah, well, that's kind of that's kind of mine and me and Todd time. That's what we do every night. I hope I've got it positioned right. Let's see if the llamas are overlapping. I really hope they're not. Oh, perfect. I also do not have dies for these, so I'm going to be fussy cutting out whichever one I put on the card. But since I'm cutting out, since I'm doing four of them, I can use them for multiple cards. I don't have to use them on the same one. Okay, so we've got the ink down. And time for the clear embossing powder. And I do like that it stays wet long enough, but again, that's one reason why I always smear it if I don't use embossing. What I ought to do, <laughs> this would be so funny, I ought to stamp a bunch of these out and mail them to my friend Jackson, and her daughter uh, because they love they love Paco I think that they would get the biggest kick out of coloring those I've also got some ideas for putting those like on um, sublimation things you know like maybe bookmarks or something because I think that would be super cool especially for folks that like Fortnite um, or llamas in general okay The lapping llama reminds me of my cat Mim. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so this is one of the things I really love is watching it turn black like that. If you love llamas, put capital letters Paco in the chat. <laughs> These guys are super cute. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> I told you, I'm trying to figure out when is a good time to use that. T loves Paco. Yay. But I'm trying to figure out when the best time is to use those uh, alerts. So the love it one works for a lot of things. Cordelia loves Paco. Okay, this stuff does not come up as easy as some of the others. So let me get a stamp cleaner. Got a couple of different stamp cleaners over here. 
One is my ranger stuff that's been sitting on my desk for too long that I don't use enough. And the other one is an artistry one that works on the artistry inks and a bunch of other stuff too. Okay, so we've got our little llamas. Llama tell you you're fabulous. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. What I need is a sentiment that says, you are bloody gorgeous. That's one of Jax's uh, channel point rewards. And I do need to work on that. That is on my to-do list. I told you guys at one point I wanted to add all the fun things that I could into um, our streams to make it more fun and interactive for you guys. And that also includes a lot of these new alerts that I just have put up. <laughs> um, that I'm going to try to put something where you guys can trigger those also. Some of them, not all of them. But if there are any of these that you see that you would love to be able to trigger yourself, let me know. And then I can see about working on that for some of those. So, our little llama. Let's see, what colors do we have? Because I think I want to go quick and easy with this. This is not watercolor paper, but hey. I have been playing with water brushes and inks and stuff lately. I've also got my Tim Holtz um, watercolor pen pencils out so I can also do that. And I'm thinking that those will probably do well, you know, just the colored pencil idea would probably do pretty well on his um, little poncho thing there. Need one that says, oh snap. <laughs> I don't have one of those yet. I do have, wow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these. These are all fun. Um, they basically, it's like five seconds piece. There's like a five minute, a five second that it takes to go from beginning to end. So first we've got amazing because you guys are totally amazing. Got big win. That I think would work really good on a, on a, um, gaming stream we got congrats congratulations guys oh i need to fix that one because the sound cut off too fast i know what i did there i know what needs to be fixed we've got this is just genius we got gold haha -ha. hype lol love it mind blown <laughs> party Thank you very much. Welcome. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Wow. And yes, and like I said, these are all, I did not design any of these. Um, I've seen them before on Luria's channel, but it's like, how does she do that? Because I want to do it. It's kind of where if I can figure out how to make it, I'm going to make it. I didn't make these. These were ones that she provided to us um, as part of their little free webinar thing that they're doing on YouTube. So if any of you guys are interested in that after the fact, I can definitely get you the link to video one that I think has a link to it to be able to sign up for it. And I'm assuming it's not too late to sign up for it. She has the third day of the, of the um, webinar thing or class thing tomorrow. And this also works good. I mean, all of the videos work great if you're wanting to do um, something like with, if you use Ecamm, Ecamm is the, it's actually stuff that she's doing on their YouTube channel. Um, but Ecamm is a great software. I've seen a lot of great things with it when it comes to um, broadcasting and streaming and all that kind of stuff. It costs money and it is Mac based and I have a PC so I can't use it. But if you have a Mac, that might be an option for you. Um, regardless, she's got a lot of good ideas and things that she's sharing on that about how to use it with Zoom. That's kind of what the whole seminar thing is about, about how to use Ecamm and Zoom together and different things you can do, which is kind of like what I'm doing using OBS and Zoom together. So, of course, I'm looking at what she's doing and picking those golden leggets as to what I can add into my own setup for my classes and for my streams and for my YouTube videos. So, cause I do all, I do all of the recording and everything through OBS. Okay. So back to <laughs> our little llama, I'm using cookie dough. So I'm going to start with that just to give a little bit of color, but not too much. And I'm not going to use a lot of water because, of course, I don't want that to mess up my paper and make it pill. 
I mean, I was very tempted to just do black and white for the llama and not add in any kind of color, but we still have a little bit of time so I can get at least one llama done. I mean, yeah. And T says that she uses her iPhone for lives. Absolutely. Well, you can definitely use that. This is just where if you're wanting to add any kind of extra stuff in, I, I, the, I'll be honest with you. The reason I got OBS to begin with was because I had trouble staying in frame and it drove me crazy because I've got just enough OCD. It was driving me bananas and I needed something to be able to see it on my computer screen. I'm sitting here in front of my computer. I could not get my phone at the time, my Samsung phone to connect, to be able to see anything that was going on on the phone screen on the computer. So I would have to have it low enough so I could look at it. It was, I was using my phone for a while. I was using my tablet for a while. My phone would get overheated. This was just for doing recording too. I mean, it just did not work. <laughs> T says, I can barely add myself in. <laughs> understandable i mean that's the thing we all come from some other thing and from a different place when we're doing this kind of stuff and i'm just one that i am i am ocd enough that it drives me crazy when things just don't work right i mean what me and todd were testing today i've got you guys know i've got a few different microphones and i've been trying to find what works best and i also want to do more face face front videos so we were looking at again the first extra mic that I bought, which is a snowball microphone, which I've had the hardest time trying to get any kind of good sound on it. We think we found a way that I'll be able to do that. I won't be, I won't be doing it all the time. I'm still going to be using my headset quite a bit, especially if I need to get up for any reason, like scanning cut videos that I've been promising and have not yet delivered on, but I do want to be able to get up and go over to the other machines in the other part of the room so that, and have you guys be able to still hear me. The last time I did it, I mentioned that I, that you weren't going to be able to hear me because I was going over to the machine and immediately after that, somebody in the chat said something about, where did she go? We can't hear her. It's like, that's because I went over to the other machine and the mic does not reach. That was when I was wearing my corded one. Now I've got this where I can walk really, I can walk into the, uh, into the kitchen and still be able to talk to you guys. You wouldn't see my face, but I could still talk to you guys. Okay. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use a little bit of party dress in the ear just cause and I probably need to be using a different brush. This one's got too, too big of a tip can also use this thing, which I never use. I think it'll work. This is a Marvy blender pen. It's one of those things I saw somebody use on a live or something or on a video and then never used it because I never did figure it quite figure it out. But it does seem to be picking up the ink. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is this may be what Catherine Pooler uses. But that looks pretty good for the ears, you think? So if you wanted to blend it out, mixing it with water helps, but doing just the kind of direct coloring like that works great with this. Oh, we are having a rollout on Dawn's channel. Awesome. That's so much fun. So yes, if, um, if Dawn is still going live, fantastic. Let me go ahead before I forget and get it set up so we can raid her when we get done, which I also have hype. <laughs> I wish we had a raid one. That would be super cool. Okay, let's see. Oh, redirect is there. So I'm going to see if we've got a redirect. We can redirect to her. Um, roll out some art. Awesome. Okay, so I'm saving that. So when we end the stream here, if you guys want to hang out until we're done, um, once, once we end the stream here, it'll go directly over into her channel. You don't even have to go and look for it. YouTube takes you there. It'll either, this is especially for you guys who are brand new to this channel and have not have not been here with me before um youtube will either it'll put something in the chat box like up at the top and it should also if you've got it on autoplay automatically go over if it doesn't do that it usually brings up like one of the um, thumbnail things in the screen so that you can click on it to move over to the next channel so those are really fun um i did do what back in 
November, December, something like that. Um, several months ago, we did a um, a live hop where we hopped to each other's channels. Everybody who has access to that feature, you do have to have be monetized in order to use in order to send people. But anybody can receive them as long as you give people. You give us permission, we can send people over. Oh, this is great. This is actually, I'm, I'm able to use the ink and I love this. I'm gonna have to do this more often. I have no idea how hard it is to clean this though. I have not tried that, but I'm able to put the little bit of ink down that I want and the nib is tiny. This is actually tinier than the nibs that I've got for my Spectrum Noir. So that is, that is looking kind of cute. Let's give this little guy some red around his ankles. Just white swipe it a few times on clean paper. I knew you guys would know this. Thank you so much, T. I told you, I've, I've had this, I've probably had this for three years and haven't used it, but a couple of times and not really figured out what I'm supposed to do with it. Okay, so we're gonna do the color in red as well. And then I think I'm going to switch over to slippery when wet. We'll do some bright orange and I do need to do some blue. So I'm going to put a little bit of blue down as well. This one is remember me, which isn't a true blue. It's a teal blue because yeah, I love like the teal blue. Okay. So I'll use the yellow first. And let's see, do the little band across, I think. And do a couple of the pom-poms. Okay. And I think, I think I also want to do, since this is a little bit lighter, I'm gonna do a little bit of the yellow around the nose. Actually, it's mixed in with some red, so now the nose is orange, but that's okay. It still makes it a different color than the rest of the face. So I think that's gonna be fine. Okay, and now we can come in with that blue and fill in the rest of the spots. I think I probably could have just done this straight out of the top of the lid of the the inks, but I don't think I've got anything in the in that part on these new ink pads yet. Wouldn't be hard to do it though. So now we've got our little Paco. And I think, let's see. It's hard to tell on Lunar Pace whether or not it's dry. So I started with this area, so. So that looks fine. And this is the last one. It's all dry. So that's what it's going to look like. The lunar paste looks like it's still wet, but I think that is super fabulous. Okay, so let's cut out our little Paco. And I've got a few more little guys that I can play with and color up in a bit. And I'm going to use these scissors. These are actually my favorites. And a lot of you guys, if you saw me in um, in Austin a year and a half ago, when I was going live there from when we were on, yeah, I used the side of the, yep. Um, T says, I use the side part of the ink pad. I've done that too. I'm Actually, I've done that with one of my water brushes. I'm not sure if I'm really supposed to because I'm actually getting water in the ink pad. So it's like, these are brand new. I don't want to ruin them yet. <laughs> But, uh, but these are this, I find these are real easy to use. The spring helps because it automatically kind of springs back. And I think the thing I like the most is the tip because I can get into really, in, I can get into really tight spots compared to my other small scissors. Plus if I ever have a problem with my Fisker scissors, you know what? Fiskers will replace it with no problem. Yeah, not the water brush, but the top of them. Yep. Yeah. I've done it with the water brush too, and I'm thinking, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. 
But I think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try using the Tombow more often. I told you guys, I've got too much stuff in my stash. I do need to do some very, I really need to do some purging as soon as I make the time to actually get busy and do it. I have been slowly reorganizing some things. So I've got new bins that I love because they're so big. <laughs> Um, I've been using, I mean, I have always used the bins like what Jennifer McGuire said, you know, that they've got, they're basically the fridge bins with the lip. Uh, I've got some other ones that are, I've got one right here. This is my new bin. It's taller. I think you guys can see it. So it's taller, which means, and it's wider. So it fits the wide things. It, it'll it fit my six by six stamps. So it's like, yes. The llama's eyes are following you. <laughs> Absolutely. I love the little llama. Absolutely. This one is from Crafty Meraki. I don't think I've got affiliate links with them yet, um, but I will link a link. I had a link down below for the, the products that I'm using if I didn't already do it. I don't think I did because, of course, when I'm doing a lot, I thought this is probably what I wanted to do was work with these, but I hadn't made my final decision when I set up the video. So it probably doesn't have the links, but I will be adding the links later on, um, probably tonight, so that you can head on over there and have easy access to that. And I would love it if you would use my affiliate links if you can, because those help me to get new stuff to make my streams better. Okay, so now we've got our cute little llama. I do have to have, what do I need? I need foam. So I'm gonna be using my regular foam actually this is that okay if you um if you make if you want to make light up cards but you have trouble figuring out exactly how to do it even this would work oh my god he's so cute even this would work just putting a light behind him to kind of glow out um i just i can't do that on this one this is too cute oh my god that would be really cute with some light going behind it but i just a couple of general supply links yep i didn't think it was down there yet because again i wasn't sure if i was going to use these but i will put affiliate links down below of everything that i can i will put links down below for all the stuff that i'm using tonight because i'll go i that's the thing i take pictures of the cards and then i change the thumbnail i don't know if you guys have noticed that but if you're in the live You'll have my just generic thumbnail on there, but if you come back later, you're going to see the card that it was that I did because I want folks to know what it is that they're, well, a little bit of idea what they're getting into. Okay, need to trim my panel down some. I would say we actually got done and it's right now seven o'clock. So um, do you guys want me to go ahead and finish up the card with you here or do you want to go ahead and head on over to um, Dawn's channel because all I'm going to be doing is trimming this down, putting it on my card base and such and getting this little guy down and probably making a sentiment. So it's kind of just the standard stuff. You guys got to see all the, the fun creativity and everything, but I also don't want to kind of take away from Dawn and her stream, you know? I mean, I love her. I am always wanting to help support her. She's fabulous. And you guys need to head over the, to her channel anyway and see what all she's doing. So, do you guys want to go ahead and head on over to her channel? I'm going to say probably yes. I am going to keep... Okay, that is, this is the side that's got too much, so I'm going to trim that side down. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to end it. I do want to thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me while I make this cute card. We'll be posting pictures of everything up shortly, but let's go ahead and head on over to Dawn's channel and check out what she's doing. And I will see you guys later. If you haven't already signed up for my class, the class is on Saturday. We're going to be making a cute light up card. We're going to be doing this one, which unfortunately the stamp set is no longer available unless I can get at least 42 people that want it, I think. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a wonderful night, and I will see you over in the chat on Dawn's channel. See you guys later. Bye. Yeah, I'm hitting the end.